the posterior cranial fossa it is the largest and deepest of all cranial fossae it lodges the cerebellum pons and the medulla its boundaries anterior boundaries by the dorsum cellae pos posterior clinoid process superior border of the petrous temporal bone floor is formed by the base spinoid base occiput posterior surface of the petrous temporal mastoid part of temporal bone posterior inferior angle of the parietal bone squamous part of the occipital bone features seen in this fossa clevis it is sloping surface in front of the foramen magnum it is formed by the superior surface of basilar part of occipital bone posterior part of the body of spinoid and dorsum cellae it supports the pons and medulla it is related to basilar plexus of veins and basilar artery it receives the attachments of membrana tectoria superior longitudinal band of cruciform ligament and apical ligament of dense the petro occipital fissure it is junction between clevis and the petrous temporal bone it is grooved by the inferior petrosal sinus foramen mag magnum it is the largest foramen it is located in the floor of the posterior cranial fossa structures passing through its anterior part are apical ligament of dense superior longitudinal band of cruciform ligament and membrana tectoria structures passing through its posterior part are lowest part of medulla oblongata meninges spinal roots of accessory nerves meningeal branches of upper cervical nerves vertebral arteries sympathetic plexus around the vertebral arteries anterior and posterior spinal arteries internal occipital protuberance it is situated opposite the external occipital protuberance on each side it is grooved by transverse sinus internal occipital crest it is midline crest between internal occipital protuberance and the foramen magnum flax cerebelli is attached to it cerebellar hemisphere occupies the deep fossa on each side of the internal occipital crest vermian fossa it is a midline fossa at the lower end of the internal occipital crest adjacent to the foramen magnum it is related to inferior vermis of the cerebellum transverse sulcus it runs laterally on each side from the internal occipital protuberance at the mastoid angle of the parietal bone it continues as the sigmoid sulcus it lodges the transverse sinus attached margin of the tentorium cerebelli is attached to its lips right transverse sulcus is wider than the left one and is continuous posteriorly with the superior sagittal sulcus sigmoid sulcus it is downward continuation of transverse sulcus at the mastoid angle of the parietal bone it ends at the lateral end of the jugular foramen it lodges the sigmoid sinus which enters the jugular foramen to continue with the internal jugular vein jugular foramen it is situated at the posterior end of the petro occipital fissure it is an interosseous foramen situated between the anterior margin of the jugular process of occipital bone and posterior margin of the petrous part of temporal bone it is divided into anterior middle and posterior parts ninth tenth and eleventh cranial nerves pass through its middle part inferior petrosal sinus and meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery traverse its anterior part sigmoid sinus and meningeal branch of occipital artery pass through this its posterior part jugular tubercle 
इट इज मीडियल टू द लोअर मार्जिन ऑफ द जुगलार फॉर एमिन देर इज अ राउंडेड एलिवेशन नोन एज द जुगलार ट्यूबरकल इट इज लोकेटेड एंटेरो सुपीरियर टू द इंटरनल ओपनिंग ऑफ द हाइपोक्लेसल केनाल इट इज ग्रूड बाय नाइन्थ टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ क्रेनियल नर्व्स हाइपोग्लॉसल केनाल इट लाइज इन्फीरियर टू द जुगल जुगलार ट्यूबरकल इट ट्रांसमिट्स हाइपोग्लॉसल नर्व मेनिंजल ब्रांच ऑफ एसेंडिंग फेरेंजल आर्टरी एंड द एमिसरी वेन फ्रॉम द बेसिलर वीनस प्लेक्सिस इंटरनल अकोस्टिक मियाटस Its opening is present in the center of the posterior surface of the petrous temporal bone. It transmits the facial nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve, and the labyrinthine vessels. The internal acoustic meatus opens above the anterior part of the jugular foramen. It is about one centimeter long and runs transversely. The orifice of the aqueduct of the vestibule is a narrow slit lying behind the internal acoustic meatus. The subarcuate fossa lies below the arcuate eminence lateral to the internal acoustic meatus.